Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Praise the Lord wherever you are. It's a beautiful day the Lord has made. We rejoice and be glad in it. It's another wonderful day that you have been given. And I like to thank God for the gift of life. And today, my dear, my dear friends, we are still in the month of June talking about staying connected. Staying connected to everything. No part to play. No part to play. And we're looking at this from Jeremiah 31. 31 it says, That's right. This time is coming when I will make a brand new covenant with Israel and Judah. I won't repeat. I, I won't, it won't be a repeat of the old covenant that your ancestors that your ancestors broke. He says they broke that covenant even though I did my part as their master. My dear friends, today we are looking at something very simple. We are examining the reality that in our walk with God, there's a part He plays and a part we play. But that was the old covenant. In the new covenant, it's a bit more different and a bit better. Because in that covenant, it was very simple. They do something good, they play their part, he plays his part to bless them. They don't play their part, does his part of not blessing them. There's always a balance of blessing and not blessing, blessing and not blessing, or blessing and, and a curse. When I said that no part to play, I simply mean this. But you can rest in confidence that the Lord has done enough. Both parts of the deal have been covered. He has covered his part and he has covered your part. He has ensured that both parts are covered to guarantee that every single moment of your life you're in a position and a situation of being blessed. When I say no part to play, my dear friends, is that through the blood of Jesus Christ, you are always connected to the source. You're always connected to the one who gives, the one who blesses, the one who heals. And I want you today as you leave your house, wherever you go this, this, this wonderful day, have the conviction that you're already covered. Have the conviction that you're already blessed. Have the conviction that your doors are already open. Have that strong conviction. Because my dear friends, you have no part to play but to believe. To believe that God covered the part that you would fail, he put Jesus there. And the part that is his is consistent. Remember he says in the Bible, he is faithful even when you're not faithful. So down to pray for you. That the Deuteronomy 28 becomes your portion. And that you, ask, you believe that through the connection you have and through you staying connected because of what Jesus did, because of no part you played, but the part that Christ played, that today you can invoke the mercy, the goodness, the favor, the richness that comes from God into your life today. Because my dear friends, God took an insurance policy. The covenant is not based on you. The covenant is based on himself. And that is the best guarantee you can have. So may you have boldness today to ask for, to believe for, to walk into the promises of God today. Whatever it is you need, have the confidence. God has wanted to held his hand. You are perpetually connected and perpetually blessed. Let us pray. I thank you, Father, for the gift of life. I thank you, Father, for the gift of your Holy Spirit and the gift of your goodness. I pray, Father, today in the name of Jesus, may your Holy Spirit rest upon your sons and rest the Lord. May you release a grace upon them today, Lord, to receive supernatural blessing and abundance wherever they are. May they receive supernatural intervention wherever they are doing this day, Lord. May your goodness be upon them, Lord, because, Lord, the covenant is bound on you. You are the condition and you are the executor. And, Lord, that is a good covenant. And may the goodness of this covenant manifest in their lives today. In Jesus' name we pray in thanksgiving. Amen. Do stay blessed. See you again next time. Remember, just believe. <laughs>